Hi, I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. I'm Danny DeKroger, senior quarterback for the Menlo football team. Last week, uh, Danny had quite a game of himself uh, for playing quarterback uh, for the Menlo football team. He completed 28 of 47 passes for a career high 451 yards, five touchdowns. Menlo defeated San Mateo. 42-34, a must-win game for them to keep their playoff hopes alive. And for that performance, Danny is the Palo Alto Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. Uh, again, 451 yards. You've never done that. That was your best ever. Um, did the game really dictate that? Uh, was it a matter that you needed to throw for a lot of yards, or it just sort of happened that way? Um, well, San Mateo was putting up points, too, so we definitely had to keep scoring. Um, and I think most of the passing came from the fact that they were stopping our run really well. They had, they had some good defensive linemen and some linebackers stopping our run. So we sort of, the pass was open and we sort of just took what they gave us. So I guess that's where it came from. Did you have any idea how well you were doing uh, yards wise or when did you find out that you had actually thrown for 452, 51 yards? Um, I just think about it. I mean, you don't really think about it during the game, but as we kept scoring, I was like, wow, we haven't really run much. And, uh, you know, we've been passing a lot. So I guess I started thinking about it a little bit, but it really doesn't, doesn't affect, didn't affect how I played or anything. You know, when you're in a game, you're just trying to, you know, keep scoring and uh, just, you don't really think about it too much. So. Did someone at, come up to you and tell you at some point how many yards you had? Not during the game, no. But afterwards, uh, someone told me, and I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, Danny has uh, accepted uh, to go to Stanford, committed to go to Stanford next season. He will not play football. He will play baseball. He will join his brother, uh, Kenny, on the Stanford baseball team. So uh, this is your last year of playing football. Does this make uh, this season you know, obviously more special and maybe a sense of urgency that you just don't want this season to end right away? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, every night when I go to bed, I'm counting down the games. Uh, have left and you just think about all the memories I've had playing football and I know that uh, it's going to end really soon and uh, it definitely affects my attitude towards playing because I know that I really need to, I really try to enjoy just playing, uh, playing the game and know that I'm not going to have much longer so it's uh, yeah it's good. The uh, Memo football team is 4-3 and three overall heading into this week. They're 1-2 and two in the PAL Ocean Division, very tough division this season. Um, what do you guys have to do really to get to the postseason? Your, your coach, uh, Mark Newton, said uh, maybe win two out of your last three games. Um, is that good enough, do you think? And uh, what's ahead? Uh, yeah, what they're telling us is two out of three games should get us in the playoffs. So, uh, But obviously we're going to try to you know win all of them. Um, and I think the biggest key for us is turnovers uh, on offense and defense because it seems like a lot of our games have been determined by turnovers. Uh, last game, I think we only had one, um, and that's just a big, big deal for us. So, yeah. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you.